The granddaddy of historical podcasts is Hardcore History, hosted by Dan Carlin. And it was on his recommendation that I read Poilu, the World War I notebooks of Corporal Louis Barthes, Barrel Maker. The title is quite a mouthful, and the book is quite a read. Poilu is French for hairy ones, which was a nickname for the French soldiers, probably not dissimilar to the modern term grunt as a way to refer to certain soldiers. Barthus was a man that was a soldier all the way through the Great War. I often wondered if there was anyone that began fighting at the start of the war who made it all the way to the end. Now I know there's at least one. It's quite incredible when you think about what a meat grinder the war was and the massive toll that it took. A couple of sections really stood out to me when reading this. One was how Barthus described, oh, the inconstancy of enthusiasm, the fickleness of the mob. Barely a week after the first train arrived, indifference had already set in. Hearts became blasé. There was no longer anyone curious enough to witness the arrival of wounded men, ever more numerous. I thought this gave an interesting insight into the human psyche and how quickly unusual and horrible things can, to observers, become boring and normal. At times, this book reminded me of All Quiet on the Western Front, but I had to keep reminding myself that this was non-fiction. The trials and tribulations of the soldiers are simply awful, and what these guys had to live through was mind-blowing. An example of this was how they were often forced, through lack of supply, to drink trench water. This was the water that flowed at the bottom of the trenches where men walked, died, bled out, and were shelled into mints. The descriptions of trench life make your skin crawl. Barthus, we felt revolt rising in our whole beings before such a fate. Such cruelty on the part of those who disposed of our existence so indifferently. There's no gloss of a bomb crater, the bottom of a sludge pool made up of smashed up men, horses and machinery. It's a heavy read, but if you want a first-hand account of the horror that soldiers faced on all sides during the Great War, this is worth the investment. (laughs) 